Hey guys, welcome to Just Pick and Learn. This is Sahana. Today I will be covering few important things that you need to know about block based coding. Are you ready? Let's get started. In this session, we are going to cover different topics. We shall understand what is block based coding, how is it different from text based coding, what are the different tools used, what is the scope of this type of programming. When we hear the term coding, mostly the picture that comes to our mind is lines and lines of text with numerous forms of syntaxes. This is not the case with block based coding. In this way of programming, the user need not write the code. He can just drag, drop and organize the blocks as per his creativity. This approach is very much used in making animated stories and games. You might know that there are many popular languages available for text based coding like C, C++, Java, C Sharp, HTML, Python to name a few. Are you wondering which is the tool used for block based coding? Let's see what are they. Scratch, Blockly, App Inventor, Snap are the popular block based coding tools. Here I have opened Scratch website so that we can have a glimpse of block based coding. Here is the editor and these are called blocks. Let's say you want to issue some instruction, then you will simply drag the block and drop it on the editor. Just a quick example for you. I am choosing the background here and I will choose this background. Even I can choose the character and I will choose this character. If I want to add some animation, let's say I want this cat to glide when I click the flag, I will go to the events section. Here I have events. Then I will drag and drop the block on the screen. I will go to the motion section and I will add this glide block. If I click the flag, nothing is happening. I will change the X and Y values. I will click it. The banana is moving because I have selected a banana. If I want the cat to glide, then I will have to select the cat. Then I will add the event. This time I will add different block and I will change some value and I will click it. If you see the cat has turned down. I know this is not a very good example but my intention is to give you the feel of block based coding. Now the question would be what is the scope of block based coding? If you look at the current trend this is popular among the kids who want to learn coding. But not necessarily limited to kids. It's for everyone who want to have fun at coding. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the session. Happy coding and do subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos.